Hey y'all, it's your girl Keish. Welcome to a walk in the fat woman's shoes. Um, tonight, well, today I have for you guys uh, part two of my carnivore taco pie. And um, I'm drinking on a good old H2O. Even though Big Gertie's not here, she will do what? Save you in a crisis. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. And how to get a Big Gert, a Big Swole, or a Big Baby will be in the description below. So you're going to click that link. You're going to get your money. Oh, it's so good. Go on, go on, do it. Anyway, let me see if my grace and I get into it. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the meal. We're about to receive. Bless your holy name. Bless your prayers in the meal. Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys today? Let me know what you're eating and if you're eating with me. Also, let me know what's going on in y'all neck of the woods. How's your weather treating? And what y'all did today? Y'all not wearing no I'm nosy. I'm nosy. But yeah, uh, like I said, today is day two of my taco pie. Mm. This is my first meal of the day, my lunch or whatever. So yeah, y'all have lunch with the girl. I, um, I thought I'd have enough for lunch and dinner, but I only have enough for lunch because why not? Oh, yeah. I only have enough for lunch because uh, the boys got some. They liked it and it was eating on it, so... I had to snatch it. Although I'm not a person that like leftovers like that, I would say this is really good. It's really good. I didn't wear weight to the Head a little tight, so mm -mm. I wasn't about to do that. Cause you know, you know how like you can feel when the headache coming on. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on with me. I kind of feel when the headache coming on, and it's a little tight. It's like right here. So, my baby, she's out and about. And I said more power to him because it's been raining all day. I'm telling you. This morning we had a hundred percent chance for rain and it did not it did not disappoint, you hear me? It rained all well all day. I wouldn't say all day because it just four it just four o'clock. And it's not raining now, but it's been raining since though. It's been raining since um early this morning. It was raining last night, so yeah. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what I'm having tonight. I don't know. I don't know, but this is so good and it's big. It's feeling I might not even eat nothing tonight because you know I've been I've been doing two meals here, maybe three, but for the most part I've been hitting up the one meal, you know, because I wanted to uh I wanted to try something, but. Being a diabetic, I know my doctor may advise against it. And so I'm not going to say what it is because I know it's not something 
a diabetic should be doing. So, but I wanted to try it. But shit, these one meals a day is good enough. That's good. I ain't gonna lie, when I did three meals, y'all, I was paying for it. The day I did three meals, I was, I was sick as a damn dog. Cause it was like, I felt like I was trying to push myself, you know, like I was trying to really push myself with that. Mm, sorry, y'all. I felt like I was, you know, just really trying to push the envelope, you hear me? So, I couldn't do that. So, I had to, I had to bag back off that. And two meals, they've been doing okay. Because I really speak now. I'm really, really spaced now. And my one meal, it might have been four o'clock. Might have been four o'clock. And I'm eating this big. And I just drank water the rest of the night. I may just, you know, eat this one meal and that be that. And, you know, and I know it's not all the calories I should be having for the day or anything like that, but I mean, it'd be good because I, start, I started doing stuff to just keep my mind off of eating because I am a food addict. I am, you know, I'm a food addict, you know, I mean, ain't no getting around that. And I started just doing little things, you know, to keep my mind off of wanting to eat because I ain't gonna lie. When I sit down and be watching TV all the time and doing this and just, you know, just not really paying attention to anything I wanna eat. I wanna eat, I want food. I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that. Ooh, I could cook this, I could go buy that, I could get this, you know what I'm saying? I be thinking like that. So. What I do is I'll sit around and I'll write. I am trying to start a vision board. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know how to do a vision board or anything like that, but I've been watching a couple of YouTubers um, with vision boards, so I kind of know where to start. I kind of know where to start. I want to get a couple of magazines. You know, I want to uh, get some pictures and stuff like that. I want to see if my cousin will release my pictures of me when I was smaller. Cause that motherfucker was like, bitch, you ain't getting these pictures over my dead body. I say that's the way you want it. I was just playing with it, do it. You know, I was just playing with it, but yeah, she had pictures of me when I was smaller. And I want those pictures. She was like, I don't take those pictures out of my house. These are my pictures. This is all right. All right, dude. But anyway, I want to see if I can make the things on my vision board come true. You know, I uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but I've told y'all before I have fibroids, fibroid tumors in my stomach, and I've recently found out that a couple of them. I guess it, like morphed into each other like the size of an orange, a small orange, you know. And um, yeah, um, that shit hurt. <laughs> that shit hurt. Um, when I first found out about about it, you know, the doctor told me that I was too big for them to do the surgery to remove them. He told me if I get to three sixty. He'll remove them. I got to 360. Then he told me get to 350. I got to 350. Matter of fact, I have got to 340. Then went back to him. He was like, I still don't feel comfortable doing this. So now, now on top of trying to lose this weight just for me, you know, just for me. So I feel good. It has become a, what can I, what's the word? Determination, it's become, 
No, it's become a um. It's like okay now it's become like I've set it out. You know, I mean, I got to. You know, I have to. You know, lose this weight. I want to get into the two hundred. You know, I must get in the two hundred. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna get no two hundreds by in no month or nothing like that, but. Now I'm determined now to do it even more because I want these damn fibroids out. Because I can remember one day, well, one one time, I didn't know what was going on. Before I found out I had fibroids, um, I had pain in my stomach and tear in my pelvis. And it felt like pulling, like something was just pulling me down. And I was, I walked, I had to walk bent over. I could not, I couldn't straighten up for nothing. I could not straighten up at all, you know. And that was, that was a real bad time. That was a real, real bad time. Um... When I got to the doctor, they had to lay me flat, as flat as I could get in the bed, even though the way they, when they stretched me out, you know, to lay me out on the um, bed, it hurt. I was crying because I couldn't do nothing. I had to, I had to uh, clean myself up bent over. I had to put my clothes on, bent over. I had to literally do everything bent over because I was in that much pain. I was in the bed, like in the fetal position, ma'am, now, because I was in that much pain. And that was just to try to subside the pain, you know. But, like I said, they had to lay me in the bed and, you know, like straighten me out so they could do the ultrasound to see what was going on with my stomach and stuff. So... When she did it, she was like, oh, my God. I'm like, what you mean? She was like, you have a gang of fibroids in your stomach. And, you know, fibroid tumors, fibroid tumors, you know, first thing you think about is cancer. You know what I'm saying? And that was the first thing. She was like, no, she said um, nine times out of ten, they're not cancerous. You know, they be benign, but at the same time, you get them. And I'm like... How did I get fibroids? You know, and she basically told me it was a weight thing, you know, and I'm like, a weight thing. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, y'all would have thought when she told me that back then, I'd be at my go weight. But at that time, food was just so good, it was so pressing, it was so demanding. It was so demanding on my life that I was willing to have these five birds and still eat the way I wanted to, still do what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? And fast forward a couple of years later, still dealing with them. I'm uh, still finding out certain things that trigger them. And that messes them up. And I'm, I mean, I'm getting out. I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it because I need to do more research on this of how to shrink them without having surgery, but still lose weight. Because that's a must. That is a must. I mean, mm, excuse me, y'all. Y'all see I'm not as huge as I used to be. And I thank God for that. You know, this process is slow. You know, you're not going to lose 200 pounds overnight. You can't. You cannot possibly do that overnight. You know, because it's going to start with water weight. It's going to start with real weight. 
but it's gonna be a process. It's a slow process. And for any of y'all that's thinking I can't do it, I can't cut the I fuck it, I'ma just go ahead and do what I want to do. Hey, that was me. I'ma do what I want to do. I'ma eat the way I want to. You don't like it, that's your business. Da 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 da. That was me. But I don't feel like that anymore. And that's why this process is happening for me because I found my why. I found my why and my why is me. My why is me. Don't you want better for your life? Don't you want to be here for your grandchildren? For your great grandchildren? For your churn? You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to go peacefully with all your limbs and your sight intact? Don't you want to live to a ripe old age? You know, my why I'm doing this is me. I couldn't really see what my why was back then, you hear me? Because I was so focused on eating. Food just had that much of a hold on me. Food was my comforter, my provider. Food was my ace. Food was my everything. You know what I'm saying? I knew my fam I knew my family loved me. I knew my family loved me, but it just was not enough. Cause that fool was calling me, you heard me? That fool was calling me. Since I've been doing carnivore, y'all, my mental, after I got over talking to my girls that Friday, after I got over that. And since I've been doing this carnivore, my mental clarity has, it, it, it's like everything, it's like something that changed, you know what I'm saying? It's like something snapped. And now, I, I have been having memory loss, not no more. It's like my memory is coming back with a vengeance, you heard me? Because I ain't gonna lie, these motherfuckers try to get over on you, like, remember you said that, remember? You told me I can have this. You told me this. No, I did not. Don't do it. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna do it. I remember. I remember. You know, it is like it's coming back with a vengeance. My memory coming back with a vengeance. You know, my knees aren't clicking and hurting and everything like that. I'm. Don't get me wrong. I still be in my power chair, but I'm walking better. When I walk outside, I'm walking better. You know, I still walk with my walk every now and again. You know, because I don't know. it. I don't know if that's a mental thing, but I just feel like if I don't, I'm going to fall. I don't know. Maybe that, that, me personally, I do believe that is a mental thing, and I'm working on that as well, getting rid of all these mental blocks. Because, <clears throat> because I used to tell, I tell myself, you can't go in that store without a, a walker. Or a power chair. You can't do that. Because you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to fall. Your back going to give up. Your back going to hurt. And you know what? That's the stuff that my mind tell me. That's why I tell y'all people. Your mind is your biggest hater. I literally was sitting here. The other day. I was trying to. I was saying it on. Uh, it's Mel Babies. Uh, live. I think it was last Thursday. Or the Thursday before. But. I literally sit here and curse my mind out. And I know it sounded crazy because they all stopped and looked at me like, okay. Because um, cause they all thought I was cursing them, but I wasn't. I was talking to myself. What it was was I was watching Janelle Wright, and I love her. I ain't gonna lie. I love her. She might never see this video, but I love her. You know, and I love her journey. You know, she's on a, her way to losing 100 pounds again. You heard me? And I love her. Her journey, you know, she just so, so fucking real, you know what I'm saying? She's so real. And her baby Nova, oh my gosh, she is, she is so cute. She's so cute. But anyway, I'm saying, I was watching her, um, watching her video and she was talking about journaling and stuff like that, you know, and putting in her journal the things, you know, the things she wants to accomplish for the week and, you know, her goals that she said, I'm like, I need to get me a journal and I need to, you know, do that myself because I need to 
start writing about the things I want to accomplish. And in my mind, I heard this. For what? You're going to write it in one, two days and then get over it. And I just said, fuck you. Fuck you. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm going to do. Just like that. And then I was like, like, is it, they was like, she fucking flipped out. Who the fuck is she cursing like that? But I wasn't cursing him. I was cursing my mind. It just, that's the way it came. I was like, fuck you. You don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Just like that. You know, it's like I said, your mind is your biggest hater. Once you let go of what your mind telling you you can't do, you start realizing the things you can do. You know what I'm saying? This journey is hard. This journey is a, a uphill battle. But you know what? You've got to keep going. You've got to keep going. Because if you don't, you're going to end up being Keisha, how Keisha was. They don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to eat what I want. I don't care what you think. This is that and the other. But Keisha's realizing you can't do what you want. I mean, yeah, you can eat what you want, but you got to eat it in moderation. You got to be mindful of what you're eating. Yeah, eat to your food. If you're doing carnivore, keto, keto world, whatever you decide to do, make sure you're being mindful. See, Keisha is aware of that now, but Keisha didn't give a damn. Keisha didn't give a damn at all. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's this battle. It's Keisha versus Keisha. And right now, Keisha's winning. Keisha is trying to, you know, Keisha is trying to tell Keisha, Bitch, you stupid. You need to lay up there. You, ain't, you don't owe nobody nothing. Even though Keisha knows, she don't owe nobody nothing. Because this is her journey and hers alone. Hers to conquer on her own. But at the same time, if she could help somebody, if she could help somebody, one person, then she doing what she came to do. You know what I'm saying? If I can get there, if I can lay up there and help one of y'all, See that, yeah, it's not all glitz and glamour. You can't lose 20, 30 pounds in 10 days. And, oh, I did this with hard work and exercise and this, this, that, and the other. It's bullshit. I'm telling you now, that's bull. You can lose these 30 pounds. Yeah, 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 but you're going to be starving your damn self. I lose these 20, 30 pounds of hard work and exercise and this, is that, and the other. And you eat little. You don't eat this much. You don't eat that. No, bullshit. Bullshit. Because your weight loss starts in your kitchen. It starts in your kitchen. Your weight loss starts in your kitchen, in your fridge, your grocery list. That's where your weight loss starts at. Once you get that mindset that... I'm going to do it against all odds by any means necessary, you hear me? That's the first step. The second step, the first step is your mental. Your second step is changing the way you eat. I eat carnivore. I eat two big meals a day. This was a big meal for me. You know, I eat two meals a day. Some days I eat one because sometimes ground beef work on my damn nerves. I ain't even going to lie. Ground beef, you know, it just... The side of it is starting to work on my nerves. It's starting to... It's starting to piss me off. You know what I'm saying? But, um... That's the second step. Third step, be mindful. Be mindful of what you're going to eat. You're going to eat three meals a day? Be mindful. Eat three... Uh... Portion size, however you gonna do. I'm not gonna say that that palm size, and I ain't gonna say that. You eat till you comfortably stuff, and you gonna see how many meals you can eat. Maybe you eat two, maybe you eat three, maybe you even eat one and be done for the day. Drink you a lot of water. You heard me? Because water is your best friend when you are on a journey. It is your best friend. I haven't had. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't had a cold drink since that day. My sugar went real, real low, real, real low. And then I couldn't enjoy it because I was in here shaking like a dog. Because my sugar was low. Me, I didn't cut out my cold drinks. I didn't cut out these sweets. 
you know, I didn't cut out um, all the carbs that I've been doing, you know, had been eating, like the complex carbs, whatever, whatever, I ever. Um, do I want broccoli or cauliflower rice? Every now and again, I still think of that. But I know I have a mission. And I know I can still eat it because after these 30 days on the 1st of September, I can go back to eating my cauliflower rice and broccoli if I want to. You know, and I just may do that because I want to do keto for it. You know, I want to kind of go back to keto for it. That way I can have my broccoli, you know, and have my cauliflower rice. But then again, who knows? I may just stay carnivore for the next two months, you know, and eat like that because, like I say, the first two weeks, this is the third week that I'm going into my uh, challenge. This is week three, and I haven't gotten on the I haven't gotten on the scale. I haven't. I was supposed to get on the scale today this morning, but I didn't um, because I had some uh, phone calls and stuff like that to make. So I just, you know you know, got myself together, you know, I didn't even worry about, you know, getting on the scale. I went to the bathroom, did everything I had to do, get myself together, you know what I'm saying, clean my face, all that stuff, you know, took a shower, you know, when made my phone calls. I didn't worry about getting on the scale, but I get on the scale tomorrow morning, which is Tuesday, and I'll see, you know, you know, what it be like. Um... But yeah, y'all, I'm telling you, Keish is winning because Keish knows. Keish knows something now that back then Keisha did. Keisha just wanted to eat herself into oblivion. And Keish doesn't want to do that. Food is starting to get on Keish's nerves. That's why, you know, you see me eat these big meals, I eat that, and that's that. That's it. You know, I'll do two meals a day. I have in my little documentary, whatever, like I said, you don't see me too much in it, but you see the foods I'm eating. You know, I know I got to get better with a lot of things, you know, but for the most part, my mental clarity is starting to uh, come together. It's starting to come together. It's starting to get better, you know, and I'm, I'm loving that, you know, and I don't think I want to give that up right away you know what i'm saying you know i don't think i want to you know give that up i want to do you know what i'm gonna do carnival for two more months keto war carnivore starting september 1st i may eat vegetables like i may not but like i said since i've been doing this i'm not a purist You'll see me eat onions and garlic. That in uh these uh black olives. That's the most that's the most carbs you see me eat. And that's basically flavoring. So um but yeah, I mean keeps you getting a hold of it. And for that person that said that I mastered destroying myself, you watch me, but you don't. Because if you did, you know that I'm trying. You know that I, you'll know that I'm getting better. How about you? You know, but it is what it is. And I can say this, you know. I'm not mad with you that you said that about me because it is what it is. That's how you feel. And if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I can't stop how you feel about me because we don't even know each other. You know, we don't know each other. At the end of the day, all you know is what you see on this camera. You don't know what I'm doing behind closed doors. You don't know what I'm doing off camera. And if that's your way, that's your re reasoning to make yourself feel better about me, and your situation or about how, whatever, however you feel, then that's fine. I have no hard feelings against you. I didn't block you. If you want to come back and say something else, hey, say it. I, it don't matter. It doesn't matter because at the same time, I mean, we all human. 
We're all struggling. We're all going through something. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some of us going to come out on top. Some of us not. But guess what? Keish is going to come out on top. You hear me? And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get up out here. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with the girl. And until next time, I'm going to plant you down and dig you later. Because I know y'all can pick up what I just put down. You heard me? Peace. Oh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I ain't drinking no water yet, but guess what? You know what? Let me go in and get about shit. Let me drink this water right here. That was good. That was good. It wasn't no big girt good, but it was good. Because it's cool. Anyway, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Peace.